Hi and welcome to the Yoga Pantry with me Tash. I have another ball tip for you for your feet. So um, the soles of our feet as we know take a lot of pounding, they get crammed into uncomfortable shoes, they get stood on all day long. If you're at a standing desk I tell you it's no better than being at a seated desk all day. It's not whether you're seated or whether you're standing, it's how long you're in the same position that creates the issues in your body. So whether you're standing or whether you're seated, make sure you move. Move every 40 to 50 minutes for at least 10 to 15 minutes. You know, if you're working, put on a timer and then go off and have a stretch, have a drink of water, walk around the office, walk around the yard, get the movement in your body, do a nice big stretch and then come back to work. Not only will your body thank you for it, but you will be so much more productive as well in your job. So it's a win-win. If you just stand all day, what you're doing is you're compressing down into your joints as you start to sink down, just like when you sit. So staying in one spot is not the answer. You have to move. However, for us to help open up our feet and release the fascia, that connective tissue in our feet and open up the back of our body and loosen up some tightness in our body, grab yourself a tennis ball or a, um, a physio ball or a golf ball or anything like that. I prefer golf balls, but what I have in hand right now is a tennis ball and if you've got tender feet, then you will prefer the tennis ball. The golf balls get right in there and they're my fave. But we have this tennis ball. So go off, find yourself a tennis ball real quick <laughs> or a golf ball and um, I'll show you what to do with it. Okay, so we have this connective tissue, this fascia which is like it's that stuff that you peel off the chicken breast you know that really thin slimy film that's what's in our bodies too and wrapping around our muscles and in everything and it can get very tight and it can compress us down and shrink us down and become very uncomfortable in our bodies it can get dehydrated and dry and that's not um, something we can hydrate with liquids into our body it's actually we need to move the tissues the muscles the body to get the hydration in in there. What we're going to do is open up the one on our foot and if you suffer from plantar fasciitis you definitely want to work out in your feet. I know it can be really uncomfortable. And our backline fascia runs in one continuous line, the sole of the foot all the way at the back of the body to the crown of the head. If you release it at the feet you'll feel more released in your body. Let's just see how tight we are. So first of all we're just going to hang Soften your knees, Whoa, hang upside down, and just get a little gauge of where you're at today. <sighs> Breathe. Let the head hang down. Notice if you're feeling tightness in the back, in the back of the neck, in the head. Is it in your hamstrings, in your legs? Now, you might not be able to touch the ground. You might be super bent in the legs, and that is okay. You can maybe explore just lengthening out a bit, stretching out one leg, the other leg. Just notice. Notice what's going on. Are you tighter in one side than the other? Usually I'm a little tighter in my um, left leg, hamstring, uh, glute, calf muscle area. Today I'm not feeling so bad. It's because I've been doing these exercises. Breathe into it, see how you feel, and then let's gently come up. Now, if you do have, and I should have said this at the start, if you have high blood pressure, then you probably don't want to hang down there. You might just want to check in over here. And if you have low blood pressure, take your time coming up, otherwise you're going to feel warm. So with our tennis ball, we're going to place it right in the center of the foot with the heel down. Now make sure it's in the center. I teach this in class and for some reason people always have it at the ball of the foot. Center, between the ball and the heel. Drop that heel down. Oh, breathe into it. You compress into it as much as you like with as much or as little pressure as you want and just see. And we're going to get a little... Um, 
a little gauge across the foot as we roll from side to side, just slowly. Don't go nuts and be like, oh, roll my foot out all over the place. Just slowly so that you get a baseline of where your foot's at. Breathe deeply, especially if you're feeling any kind of discomfort there. Now, sometimes doing this can make you feel quite nauseous as well. So just see what's going on. This area that we're massaging through along the reflexology lines, you know, there's a lot of points that map to our body and our foot. This is where all your abdominal organs are. So if anything's going on for you there, then you're going to feel it here. Okay, now we're going to move to the um, back of the foot, but not into the heel, just at the base of the heel there. So I'm not right here on the heel, I'm at the base of the heel. I tell you, with a golf ball, it's magic in a painful way, but really great. Come well, in, see if you can drop the front of the foot down, see how that feels, notice where the discomfort is for you. Breathe deeply. And then if it feels okay, start to roll it out from side to side. Roll it out from side to side. Whoops! And if the ball gets away from you, catch it, bring it back. Roll it out there, see how that feels. Alright, then we're going to move to the ball of the big toe. So that big toe mound, the bone right at the base of the big toe and press in there. Breathe, press, press and breathe, breathe and press. And then roll the ball up the inside line along that big toe area. Seeing how that feels. Breathe into it. Then we're going to move to the next toe. Roll it along there. When you have a smaller ball, it's definitely far more effective. A squash ball, oh, that'd be a good one. Along to the next toe. Along to the next one. And when you get right to the end, to that pinky toe, just roll. I'm losing control of my ball. Roll it slowly up and down. You want to do this on a hard surface. I'm on a carpet and a yoga mat, so it's not as great as if I was on a hard surface. If you've got a golf ball, then you can be on carpet. That's all good. And then we're going to come back to center. Back to center, and your toes are probably going to curl around um, the ball a little bit, and we're going to try and isolate our big toe and waggle it up and down five times. I can do it pretty good on this side. Wiggle, wiggle. Wagga, wagga. <laughs> and then back to center. And then if there's anywhere else that you want to press into, just checking in. And this one is optional. So you can place that ball in the center there. And place your other foot on the top and do a little kind of smushing your cigarette butt into the ground. Hopefully you're not smokers because <laughs> that's not good for your body. Breathe into it and if you are, I hope you don't throw your cigarette butts on the ground because that goes into the ocean and kills the ocean life. And release that out. Shake that out. See how that feels. <sighs> wow. Stand into that. See how that feels. And we're going to bend again. And see how that right leg feels. Oh, my right leg feels so much better. It's amazing. It's amazing how it just takes the tightness out of the legs. You might have your legs straighter now. All right, press up. Mm, let's do the other side. Into the center. Center of that left foot. Heel down. Press as much as you like or as little as you like. See how that feels. And then start to explore from side to side. So 
side to side. This is called inverting and everting the foot. When that feels okay, come along to that place whoop, just before the heel. Probably good I'm on a tennis ball and not a golf ball so you don't hear me go ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, as we go through it all. <laughs> Breathe deeply again. Make sure that breath is your constant companion. Wow, I can really feel it on this side. No wonder I have tightness. If you have any kind of sciatic pain, it's going to help heaps with that as well. Gently. If you like that and that's just feeling good uh, in a bad way, in a good way, um, you can stay there or you can start to explore very slowly. Go from side to side. Because what we're doing is we're trying to build an awareness of our foot, where we feel like there's tightness, where we feel like there's knottiness, where we feel like maybe that connective tissue is all dried out and sticky. Breathe into it, inverting, everting, or you could think like your... Um, I lost the words. <laughs> Shifting your heel from side to side. <sighs> right, now let's go to the big toe mound, the big toe ball, and hang in there, press in there. Now that point there, that bone, that ball of the big toe, is a really good point to be aware of because when you're standing in your yoga pose and your tadasana, that's where we want to connect into. As we that allows us to also lift through the arch and allows us to bring the energy out across to the back, um, outer edge of the heel, so that we have this lovely tri um tri diagonal line of energy. And then also thinking about the tripod of energy too. Big toe mound, little toe mound, center of the heel. Nice, solid, strong point. Now, if that's feeling good on your left foot, you can roll it up once or twice or thrice. <laughs> and then over to the next foot, roll through. And then over to the next foot, next foot, next toe. Hopefully you've only got two feet. Maybe you've only got one. It's all good. And to the little one. Once you get to that little side, the little side, you can roll it up and down. It is way more painful on this side. I'm telling you, wow. It is a good massage though. The tennis ball is a whole nother experience to the golf ball. So give them both a go because you can like kind of squish into the tennis ball and feel it kind of moving stuff around with the golf balls like in there. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go to the center of the foot again, heel down and trying to isolate the big toe. Waggle it up and down five times. If it's not waggling, you've probably got the ball too far forward. Or it's just not waggling for you and that's fine. All right, and then I come over to the wall here. And again, this one's optional because it can be a little intense, especially if you're on a golf ball. On a tennis ball, it's okay. On a golf ball, generally it's not cool at all. And just kind of smush into the top as much or as little as you want. I'll release that out and maybe see if you want to press out anywhere else. My feet are going clickety clack. So great. Ah, oh, did you hear that? Clack, crack. Wow. That was really lovely, actually. Shake it out. Oh, see how that feels. Oh, my legs feel so good. And then let's hang over. Hang and see how the back feels, how the legs feel. Soften the knees if you need to. Breathe into it. And that is it. That 
is another little magical foot massage <laughs> with our balls, which if you do often daily even, you could do it while you're brushing your teeth, doing the dishes, just hanging out watching TV, just to get your feet open and moving and just feeling so much better. When you open up your feet, the rest of your body starts to follow suit and stacks itself in the right place and magic happens. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends. Like if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't and tell all your friends to subscribe as well. <laughs> See you real soon. Namaste.